Here with wide receivers coach Matt Lubick. Uh, Tuesday's practice, how did it go? Good, good. This has been a good week for practice. Guys are guys are excited, and really the last three to four weeks, I've been really impressed with the way guys are practicing. And now you're new to the program here, but do you get a sense that a game against a team like Washington, a ranked opponent, a team that there's somewhat of a rivalry, does that mean more to the coaches and players at all? Uh, well, Washington's a good football team, but we really do. It sounds like uh, clinic talk. We try to treat everyone the same. We don't prepare any less for, you know, Nickel State than we do Washington. Um, I think to these guys, growing up in the Pacific Northwest, they're really familiar with it, so there might be a little extra incentive. But you know, they're a good football team, and we try to prepare and get better each day, like we normally do for any opponent. But do you see maybe an enhanced level of energy and excitement just because it is Washington? It is uh, you know a rivalry that you know has been pretty pretty important for them for the last 20 years. Um, you definitely feel that. I know it's, it's important to fans and the people in the Pacific Northwest. And, you know, anytime you play a good team, um, there's always a little extra incentive. But we, we, we talk about this, and we, we have our own standards. And our job each day is to, to improve our standards and, and push ourselves a little bit further each day and just get better regardless of who the opponent is. Vertical passing game. We saw a little bit more of that on, on Saturday than we have probably in a while here at Oregon. Is that something that you guys are working on, or is that just something you saw in Colorado? Obviously, you're not calling the plays, but... A um, little, little both, little both. If uh, if the defense gives us a situation where they're going to let us throw vertical passing routes, then we're going to do that. Um, it helps when you have a quarterback that can throw that. you got to have a quarterback that can make those type of completions and throws, which we do, and we have receivers that can run and get open. And so that's when all those things blend together, you can have some success. You talk about those receivers. Talk about the emergence of, of Braylon Addison so far this this fall. I know last year they saw glimpses of him. This year he's, I mean, two touchdowns each of the last two games. Really just been dynamic. Yeah, r real pleased with Braylon and, and all the guys. But Braylon in particular just because, you know, this is his first real year playing full time. And uh, where it started is practice. His practice habits are unbelievable through the roof. And so what you guys see is how he performs on Saturday. But it starts with the way he practices, tremendous effort. And everyone sees the statistics as far as catching the ball and making plays as a punt returner. But what he's done an incredible job of is blocking downfield. You, know, you don't write articles in the paper about that, but he's, he's been one of our better blockers. And that's something we take pride in here. Everyone's doing a pretty good job of it. And um, he's really excelling in that area, which as a receiver coach, there's nothing more selfless that shows more about who you are as a person, the way you block for your teammates. Coach Frost, had, I guess, developed kind of a. He, he was really well known for how, you know how he taught his receivers to block. Is that something you came in and they were already pretty well developed in terms of their their blocking, or has there been progressions past that since? Uh, well, he yeah, Coach Frost definitely. Um, that there's been a culture here where blocking is very important, and uh, the way Coach Frost has taught blocking, you know, I've and I I've came in and, and definitely learned some things about how we did it and. Our guys, first of all, the most important thing about blocking is taking pride in it. And it's, it comes from what's inside a desire to do it. And then technique-wise, um, I think we're a little bit different because we're, we're pretty aggressive. You know, we, we teach blocking like open field tackling, where we go try to attack defenders as opposed to catching and giving the DBs the advantage. And it's coming in here, it's probably the most aggressive technique-wise I've seen be ever being taught, and it's been awesome. I love the way we teach it here, and it's, it usually shows on Saturdays. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Good luck.